Okay, yesterday we solved the advent of code day four, and I messed up technologically the video part, so I didn't put it on YouTube. Uh, but I guess the Twitch was okay. Uh, today we're going to solve day five. So for anyone who didn't see or doesn't know, advent of code is an annual programming puzzle sort of competition thing where every day from December 1st through 25th, they put out a new puzzle. It's, you could solve it without programming theoretically, but that would be very, very difficult, right? Um, you can use any programming language you want, any technology you want, but the problems are such that you're probably going to have to write a computer program to get the answer. All right. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to solve it live because I want to show people what, you know, programming is really like from someone with a lot of programming experience. I'm not the best programmer in the world. I mess up a lot of stuff despite, you know, having been done this for a very long time. I want to show how not scary it is and how really it's just a lot of Googling and following instructions. All right. Uh, yeah, yesterday's video and the previous video all had problems, typing noises, all sorts of things. I'm pretty sure I fixed most of those at this point. Um, so hopefully this video is going to be the good one. Uh, and we've got our we've got our setup uh, in good shape for the rest of the days coming towards us until we stop, which could be whenever. All right. If you want to see the code for my solutions, I haven't solved every year and every day of Advent of Code, but the ones that I've bothered to do so far, uh, you or if you want to go to Advent of Code itself, I put the links in the description below for you. All right. I think that's all on my checklist of introductory stuff. Let us go and see what's in store for us on day five of 2020. All right. Coding window here one we solved everything on day one through four going to day five day five let's see what it says you board your plane only to discover a new problem we dropped the boarding pass uh-oh we don't know which seat to get in and the flight attendants are busy <laughs> you write a program to use your phone's camera to scan all the nearby boarding passes which is our puzzle input so the puzzle input is going to be a file full of boarding passes Perhaps you can find your seat through process of elimination. Instead of zones or groups, they use binary space partitioning to seat people. A seat might be specified like this. Forward, back, forward, back, back, forward, forward, right, left, right. <laughs> Where F means front, B means back, L means left, R means right. Yeah, I can guess that. The first seven characters will either be F or B. These specify exactly one of the 128 rows on the plane. So the plane is always 128 rows. Let me get, I'm writing this down. You can't see, but I'm using pencil and paper the old fashioned way to do this. Zero through 127. Okay, so 128 rows, zero through 127. And the first seven characters, so we got seven times f or b is equal to the row all right each letter tells you which half of a region that the given seat is in oh interesting start with the whole list of rows the first letter indicates whether the seat is in the front 63 or the back then the next letter indicates half of that all right so it's like a quick sort situation right we're dividing the seats in half uh, and we're going to say front half or back half. Then we're going to cut that in half. Front half or back half. Cut that in half. Front half or back half. And then it's going to narrow it down to a single row. All right. Uh, and so on until you are left with exactly one row. For example, consider just the first seven characters. So 0 through 127. F means take the lower half, 0 through 63. B means take upper half, 32 through 63. F means lower half, 32 through 47. B means take upper half, keeping 40 through 47. Okay, so basically what you do is you've got your two numbers, right? You divide your bigger number by two, well, right? Uh, well, plus one divided by, well, no, plus one divided by two would be 64, right? But you basically find the midpoint between the two um, numbers, right? Um, and then, so I guess you take this, right? You divide by two and... Is it always, I just want to make sure, 42 through 47. If you take the upper half, 
right? It's going to be, let's see, 47 minus 32 is 8 and 7 is 15 divided by 2. Okay, so yeah, you're going to do, you're going to take this, the upper number plus 1 divided by 2. Uh, well, minus the upper number plus 1 minus lower number divided by 2 plus lower number. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna get the mid the mid number, right? By some means. Um, there you go. Anyway, uh, and basically, if it's lower half, you're going to replace the higher number with that, um, you know, that number you just calculated. That mid number will re replace this one, right? So zero through one twenty seven. The one twenty seven gets replaced because it's the lower half. When it's upper half, the midpoint is sixty. Is already 32 no matter what, right? But you are going to replace the lower number, right? Replacing the lower number with the mid number shifts you to the top half. Replacing the upper number with the, right, goes to the bottom half. Okay. Um, all right. B means take upper half. B keeps rows 4 through 7. F keeps for final F. And you're going to get the lower of the two numbers. Okay. Uh, the last three characters will be either uh, L or R. These specify exactly one of the eight columns of seats on the plane. So it's an eight column plane, numbered zero through seven, the same process, all right? So there's gonna be three L's and R's. So three times L, R, and there's gonna be eight columns, cool. R means upper half. Consider just the last three characters, R, L, R, right? R for 0 through 7 would be 4 through 7, L, 4 through 5, R, 5. Got it. Reveals that it is the seat. Nah. Okay. Every seat also has unique seat ID. Multiply the row by 8 and add the column. Okay. Seat ID equals 8 row plus column got it okay uh here are some other boarding passes cool look through a list of boarding passes what is the highest seat id on a boarding pass okay so we're gonna we're gonna get all of the seat ids into a list and we're just gonna call maximum on it fantastic all right so i think the the most troublesome part is gonna be these get finding the correct uh, midpoints here, right? Because I think, you know, we have to find a case, we have to code it in such a way that in this case where the numbers are one apart, we try to find the midpoint, it's gonna be 44 and a half, um, which is, you know, a little bit eh. So we'll figure that out by coding, all right? Uh, let's get our input file. Uh, copy, oh no, we got to save link as. Event of code 2020.05, save. Cool. We got inputs. Great. Um, let's take yesterday's answer and uh, let's change it to, what's this going to be? Um, highest seat ID. We'll do uh, boarding... We'll just call it boarding passes dot pi. That's fine. Okay. So you can delete all this stuff. We can we're gonna keep our input file parser. Actually, you know what? Let's go back and um let's take our answer from day three instead. Because our answer from day three has the simpler input parser, and that's really what we want to steal here. We don't need to steal these parts. Okay. So we're going to, we need a function to find row. Um, Let's take the parse lines. Let's further parse the lines here, right? Uh, for uh, let's do some increased 
parsing. Uh, I want to do uh, so. It's the first eight characters are L. No, the first seven characters are LRs, and the next three are not. So let's take an example. Um, hold on. Okay. Just take an example. So it's uh, going to be colon eight. It's going to give us no. It's going to be colon seven. Colon seven to get the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And then to get the last three, it'll be well, I guess eight colon. No, seven colon. Yep. Terrific. So we will do. All right. Uh, so. We're going to split this up. We're going to do uh, colon 7, comma, eight, uh, 7 colon, right? Four, right. Oh. All right, so we got a, a row finder. Shh. Shut up, water bottle. Okay, we got a row finder. And find a column. We got a column finder. And we have a uh, seat ID. Gen seat ID. We can write this one first. Row column like this. Uh, so return uh, eight times row plus column. And then we're going to say um, uh, row code, column code. Okay, and then down here for uh, seat in parse, uh, for seat in data, right? Row equals find row, column equals find column. Oh. Oh uh, no, for row code, column code. There we go. That's how it is. Uh, row equals find row, row code, column equals find column, column code. We're co see, we're coding backwards here from the top down, right? Uh, and then uh, results, well, the uh, seat IDs, seat ID, append, uh, gen seat ID, row, column, part one, result equals max of the seat IDs, print part one, F string, print part one, uh, part one results. Nope. All right. So now we just have to write find row and find column. So this is the the uh, midpoint thing. So I think we might need a um a find mid, right? Number. Uh, well, min, max, or uh, low, high. Right. So the mid is going to be. Uh, return high plus one over two. High plus one divided by two uh, minus the low. High plus one, no. Uh, high plus one minus the low over two. Plus the low. Is there a simpler way to write this? There probably is, right? I like to put lots of extra parentheses, so even though if they're not necessary, just so it's absolutely clear. All right, high plus one minus the low over two plus the low. All right, fantastic. Okay, so to find a row, what we're gonna do is uh, for 
uh, for char in row code. Uh, I guess I guess the the high is always gonna be uh, one twenty eight or one twenty seven, and the low is gonna be zero. Oh, uh, we can. We're going to be able to do find row and find column with the same function. I'm going to abstract it more, but I'm not until after I write it. I'm going to write it once, and then I'm going to abstract it. Actually, we'll, we'll just do it. High, low, uh, high char, low char, right? See how I'm going to, right? Uh, find row call. <laughs> Code. Oh, wait, no. Low. High. High char. Low char. Uh, uh, do you do mandatory? You can do mandatory hours after optional? No, I'm. <laughs> I'm putting that in now. All right, the low car. So it's let's go back to the example. Uh, we've got um, FB followed by RL. So F is the front of the plane, so that's the low char, and then the rear would be the high char. Okay, so this is the and then um, right for the other example, right? So we can actually do this. Uh, we can actually do this. Let's do this. Find row. And find call. Uh, oh, front, back. K is going to be code low equals um, a zero through seven. Uh, zero through seven. High equals seven. Low char equals L and R. L. High char equals R. And this is just going to return find row. Right? Code low, high, low char, high char. All right, so find call is the same code as, as find row, only these different these values will be different, right? So find row is going to be where all the action is. All right, so uh, for each character in row code, we are going to find the mid um, of uh, low and high. I'm going to say mid equals, right? If char is the low char, then we're going to replace high. High equals mid. Uh, else, low equals mid. Return. Yeah, see, this isn't going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. This is because it's going to mess up on the final, the final one, I think. Right? Let's just test it to. Uh, yeah, we'll test it after I write it. Return mid. <laughs> Not going to work. <clears throat> we'll try it anyway. All right. Let's clean up our our our, our little linting action. Seed IDs. Okay, terrific. Um, let's do some debugging, actually. It's going to work this time, I, hopefully. Uh, let's debug right here. Because the find row function is really what needs the debugging, right? Um, okay. Oh. Uh, all 
cool. All right. Uh, next. So the char is F. The row code is F, 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 B, F, B. Okay. The low is zero. The high is 127. Fantastic. The mid, the mid 64. Oh, it's a, uh... okay. We didn't integer that, but we'll see. Um, uh, BR typo and find column last arg has column. So first of all, the last arg is allowed to have a comma. And second of all, this is what I mean when stop telling me things. <laughs> Don't tell me anything about my code whatsoever that is wrong. If you whether it's actually wrong or not. <laughs> right? Um Okay. Let's go back to solving this. Um let's see, mid sixty-four. Okay, so that's correct. Uh, so next, so it's a F, so the high is equal to the mid. We're back. Okay, our new mid is 32 and a half. Yeah, this is what I thought was gonna happen, problems like this. So in these cases, the high is the new mid. Let's see what happens at the end. It's I think it's gonna get a result. What char are we at, F? The mid is down to 8.875. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be correct. Okay, so let's do one on by hand, right? To uh, to see. Okay, so uh, one. Let's actually look at that one we just did. So uh, head input dot text. So f f f f b f b f f f f b f b. Okay, we'll just type that in on the side so we can look at it. Okay, so uh, we're at 128F. So F is, let's get a calculator. So 64, right? So F, we're now at 64 through 128, right? Can we do comments in, uh, I don't know, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, we can do comments, cool. All right, so 64 through 128. Uh, then we got another F. So it's going to be... Uh, 128 minus 64 is 64, right? Over 2, 32. Okay, so 64 plus 32, 96. Oh, it's because I've got the 128 and not the. Oh, but no, I'm doing a, I'm doing a, a plus one here. High plus one. High plus one minus low over two. Yeah, and then. So the difference between the two is 32. 64 plus 32 is 96. Okay. Um, cool. So the high, the mid is 96. We got another F. One. So we're now at one uh, 96 through 128, right? So 128 um, minus 96 over two is 16. 96 plus 16. It's 112. Why is this one not making any uh, fractions uh, like it did when I was debugging? Let's see. Low and high. Low and high. Low is 0, right? So 128 minus 0 over 2 is 64 plus 0. Hmm. We'll have to take a look. All right. Um, so 112 is the mid, right? So that's so far, how many Fs? <laughs> We're just keeping track of the Fs. Is that three Fs? One, two. Yeah, this is the third F is 112, right? So 112 through 128 is the third F. Uh, third F. Okay, so we're now going to do the fourth F starting here. So the fourth F will be 128 uh, minus 112 over 2 is 8. 112 plus 8, 120. So, the, so we're now 120 to 128. Fourth F. Okay, so now we're on the first B. The first B is uh the bottom half so 
on the bottom half. I'm going to do 120 to 128. So 124 is the middle, and we're in the back. So 120 through 124, right? Oops. <laughs> 124 is the fifth F. Oh, no, is the first B. Okay, and then we got two left, right? So the, here we go. F 120 to 124. 120, 121, 122, 123, 123, 124. It's going to be 122. Yep. And the 122 is on the forward. So it's 122 to 124, right? If it's, in, if it's in the front, we're replacing the lower number, right? And then these aren't right next to each other. This is the problem, 122 to 124. And then... Um, the final one is a B, so it's 122 to 123. Did we miss one? We might have missed one. But this should be, or should be right. So we're taking the high number, which is 127, plus 1. So it's 128. 128 minus 0 divided by 2. All right, we're going to we're just, we're just run it again. <laughs> okay. What's our char? Okay. Char. The char is F. The high and the low. Great. Okay. So the char is equal to the F is the low char. It's the front of the plane. Oh, this is what I was messing up when I was doing it by hand. Right? Um, the F high B low. Right? The highs and lows are all messed up. <laughs> let, me, let me just double check it on this side. Okay, F is low. It's the front of the plane. When you have the low char, you want the you want to bring the high point down. This is all right. So we coded that part correctly. Great. Okay, so uh, the mid came out to be sixty four. Terrific. Okay, so then the high is equal to sixty four. So we're from zero to sixty four. Cool. Next. All right. Our new next char, F. Right, our high is 64 and our low is 0. Okay, F is the low char, so we should be going to 32. All right. So our high is now, oh, next, next. All right, our high is now 32.5. So that's where we got the problem from. Um, oh, this is why. Because we're adding 1 to the high every single time we would find the mid. We only want to add a, a 1 to the initial high number, right? We don't want to add it uh, ever again. So we want to just do this. And then we want to do high plus equals 1 here before we loop. OK. Oh, what do we got here? Some kind of error. Oh, error in a multi-line statement. To somewhere. Oh, it's here. It's because we messed up these parentheses. That's why. There we go. Cool. Boarding passes, part one. That's not all right. We got fractions going. <laughs> We're not typing that in. Okay. Uh, let's go back to debugging. Figure this out again. No, oh, not input, import, import. Okay. So we've got our high and our low. And we've got our row code. Cool. OK, next. The mid. No. All right, what's our mid? 64. Terrific. Next. Next. All right, what's our high and our low? Low. 
low. All right, good. Our mid it should now be 32. Terrific. And we're still going high. Right, what's our new high? 32. Terrific. Okay. And our new mid will be um, 16. Terrific. Okay. Uh, okay. And we're going high again. 16. Cool. Okay. Well, our new mid should be 8. We're going high again. Our high is now 8. Our low is still 0. Mid is 8. Oh. Mid is now 4, correct? Uh, our low is now the mid, so now it should be 4 through 8, low, high. 4 through 8, correct, okay. Our mid is now, no, the mid should now be 2. The, oh, the mid is 6, yeah, that's right. Um, all right, between 4 and 8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay. Uh, okay, and we're going high, high. High is 6, low is 4, good. The mid should now be 7. No, oh, the mid, let's see, low, high. Oh, okay, it's the it's between 4 and 6, 5 is the mid, sure thing. Um, okay. And then, um, okay, we're going low. So now it's between 5 and 6. And returning the mid of five. No, mid. Okay, so somehow we need one more to choose between the five and the six. I have to go work it out on, on paper again, right? Because our, 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 our failure here is at the end, right? Somehow we've, um, even though we've gone through all the characters and divided that many times, uh, at the end, our high and low are still um, not, uh, they're still one apart from each other, right? We still, we still need one more. <laughs> we still need one more somehow. Um, but that's obviously not correct. So let's... All right. FFFFBFB. F, 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 B, F, B. Okay. Uh, let's just make another editor on this side. Okay, so start with 128. So F, 64. Well, 0 through 128 is at the start. F, we are now in the front, 0 through 64. F, let's, F, F, B, F, B. We are now front again, 0 through 32. Front again, 0 through 16. This is much easier. 0 through 8. B, 4 through 8. F, 4 through 6. B, 4 through 5. Yeah, see, so this is something's wrong. Uh... So why are we one away? Let's go read the in, the instructions again. Ah, F keep the final F keeps the lower of the two. Oh no, that's not right. Lower half zero through sixty three. Upper half thirty two through sixty three. Lower half. 32 through 47. Upper half, 40 through 47. B F keeps rows 40 through 47. F keeps 40 through 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, let's see, because they're not, they're not doing the plus 1 here, right? The mids are the same, right? So for the purpose of calculating the mids, I want that plus 1. But for the purpose of the range, right? Um, for the purpose of the range, you don't want the plus one. 
and that's why that plus one is hanging out. Um, is there a, um, a Python function to find the midpoint? Python, find midpoint between two numbers. How to calculate midpoint between two numbers. Yeah, divide by two. Yeah, I know that. It's not helping. <laughs> That's just average, right? It's zero through 127, right? I guess for finding the midpoint, we always add a one. Like this but we don't actually do high. Maybe like this. Or maybe we just round up. Maybe just round up on the the fun, the. Let's see. Let's try it. Let's try just rounding up. I want to just test it. Uh, int of one point five. It's not rounding up. Uh, I'm trying, to... trying to round up. I thought round up. <laughs> uh, built in round uh, round values up and down. Ceiling rounds up. Math dot seal. Okay. Cool. Math that seal. No, my spelling ceiling wrong. Yep. All right. Let's try math that ceiling. Cool. All right. So we're just going to do. Uh, high minus. I could just do a high plus low over two. Okay. So now the high isn't going to be too high. All right, let's try that. Uh, oh, I think that look, we're looking like a good answer here, maybe. Okay. We may have found a good answer. Let's just... Um, for the sake of debugging, let's print out one of these just to evaluate it by hand. Uh, find row in the find column. All right, so find row. So I just want to print out the, um, before you return, oh, wait, we don't want to return mid. We want to return, uh, well, maybe. Well, well, hold on. Let's find out. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, I think this is still wrong because I'm not sure if we want to return high or low. Okay, let's print, uh, the code, the low, the high, and the mid. All right. Oh, and then start the debugger. Okay, uh, cool. It didn't print, uh, did it print? Oh, there it is, FFFFBFB. 255.191, uh, oh, cause is it's doing, why would it be doing this every, what? It should have solved the whole thing and then exited the loop. Why is it still like this? Front, 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 front should be. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Okay, left, left, right, 14, 7, 14. This doesn't seem right at all. <laughs> Why is this not such a simple thing not uh, working? Okay, four, there's only seven rows. How could the left, left, right, 14... 
The code is left, left, right. The low is 14 and the high is 7. How is that possible? All right, the low starts at 0 over here. How can that be? How can that be? That the, the low creeped up. It's the low char. We want to replace the high with the mid and leave the low where it is. You're moving towards the front. If it's the high char, we want to keep the low, the high where it is, and move the low up to go to the back of the plane, or the right or left. Well, how did a 14 get in there? Oh my god. Oh, it could be this. Could be that. All right, let's try that. Uh, that looks like it makes more sense. All right, so that one looks correct. Front, 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 back, front, back. And since it's, no, it should be a six there, not a five. So I think we don't want to return mid here, right? High, else, low equals mid. But high and low are still separated, right? So we took that final character that came in, right? And that final, it didn't get us to, the final one got us to five and six. It didn't get us to five or six. We need like another character. Why, how did this one work out? <laughs> we need one more instruction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How did it not get us down one, one more division? Um, hmm, do it. I'm gonna do this one by hand again, I guess, because I don't know what else to do. All right, F, 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 four F's, B, F, B, F, 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 B, F, B, zero through 127. All right, so it's in the front, so we're replacing. The high with the mid. The mid is uh, 64. Oh, the mid is not 64. The mid is 63. The mid is 63, not 64. Um, is the mid going to be ceiling minus 1? Is it always going to be minus one, or could it also be plus one? Let's find out. All right. Okay, so 0 to 63 with our new math, right? Okay, so then front again. So it's not 32. It's um, it going to be 64 divided by 2, which is 32. It's 33. No, 32. Minus, we're doing minus one. So 31 minus one. Okay. So then, oops, Oop. okay. So front again, so 16, but 15. Okay, back. So 16 divided by two is eight, and that's gonna be seven. Oh no, but it's not, it's seven through 15. Okay, front, so the front is high plus low. Seven and 15 is 22 divided by two is 11, minus one is 10, so it's seven to 10. Uh, and then back 10 and 7, 7, 8, 9, 10. Those are, oh, 10, 11, 4, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, that doesn't get us down. We need one more. Oh my God, something is not right. We always need one more, right? Because this would give us um, 7 and 10 is. Well, plus 1 is 18 over 2 is 9, minus 1 is 8. And then we'd replace 8 would be the new, um, since it's back, it would, be, it would be 8 and 10. That's not getting you there, right? That's, that's even further away. 
from than what we had before. We had like eight, nine, or you know, two digits next to each other. How is seven digits not enough to get there? This is so simple. Why do I, I must be missing like the silliest thing in the universe for this? All right, one. One three seven over two is sixty three, right? Okay, so that's simple enough. That's rounding down, actually. Is it just floor? Are we doing floor instead? Is this gonna work? Yeah, because in the example here, they give 63, 63, 47. So what's 63 divided by 2? Well, no, 63 plus... Well, 63 plus 32 divided by 2. 63 plus 32. 95 divided by 2, 47. Yeah, it might just be math.floor. Um, in which case, we actually don't even need math.floor. We just, because int was rounding down every single time we use that, right? Oh. Come on. There we go. Here, four, five. For, oh, wait, we're still getting it. No, we don't need this anymore. It'd be four, five, and then four. I think four is the correct answer here. Uh, we want to, but we've got high and low, and we've got, I think we want to find, um, we're pretty, I think we're pretty close here. Pretty close here, I think. Um, all right, so four car in uh. result equals. Is the mid always going to be the right answer? Let's go to the next one. The mid is always... Oh, something broke. Supported an int and none. What happened there? What line is that? Eight times row plus column? Oh, because I'm not returning anything here. That's why. Uh, let's try to... Ju let's just put a return, return mid here for now. I just want to four, six, eighty-two, six, ninety-six. All right, okay. Front. Oh, so the mid. Yeah, look at that. The mid is gonna be, I think, correct. Right. Yeah, I think this might be the right. I have confidence that I can. Um... All right. I think I actually have confidence in this one. So we're gonna we're gonna type in this answer. 838. Ready? We're gonna type this one in. 838. That's not the right answer. It's too high. Uh it's the right answer for someone else. Great. Ah uh, guessed 838. Yeah, all right, let's go back. All right, what's wrong? What is wrong? So I think what's happening is we come here, right? We've got our high and our low set correctly. Um, Uh, print uh, code. C 
code char high low mid okay cool all right so we just did front and that got a zero to 63 that's correct okay so now we're going to do front again oh We did front again. We now have 0 through 31. Oh, but it should be 32. Oh, I see. If it's um if it's low, we want to add 1. If it's high, we don't. Mid plus one. Oh, you know what it could actually be? Oh, we could, yeah, this this might do it. All right. Oh, we could sort of remove all our debugging action. A39. Okay. I'll type it in. Whatever. Doesn't cost anything, right? That's not the right answer either. It's still too high. Oh, wait, that actually made our answer higher than before. And they just told us our answer was too high. <laughs> oh, no. All right, is something wrong here? Oh, the maximum seed IDs. So our strongest single seed ID was too high. Let's make sure the max function is working. I'm pretty, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Max of uh, one, two, three. It's going to be three. Yes. Okay. So we've got a seed ID that's coming out at 839. And that's not right, right? To be eight times row plus. What's the highest possible seed ID? It would be eight times 127 plus zero, right? The lowest is zero. Ten sixteen. Okay, so eight eight. It's not a ridiculous number. The eight. What are eight? Oh my god. Because he's not. It's not doing even. I guess we can add. Let's see. If we just add one to both, right? If we do from one through one twenty eight, divide everything by two that way, and then subtract one at the end. Right. I don't think that is that going to work. All right, keeping rows 1 through 64, keeping rows... See, but this now, the bottom number is always a nice number, and the top number is always a garbage, is a garbage number, with uh, some odd piece of crap, right? So, so you can't just nicely divide by 2 on both ends. That's what's messing me up here, right? We have to find, like, this actual odd midpoint number, right? Um... Yeah, I guess the bottom number is always going to be even. The top number is always going to be odd, right? Mm. Right, the low is 0, the high is 7. 0, 127. Okay, the, how do you find the midpoint between 0 and 127? Find mid. High plus one minus low. <laughs> uh, how do we f actually? Okay, uh, zero plus one twenty-seven. High plus low plus one. It's one twenty-eight. One twenty-eight over two, sixty-four, right? And then we want to do um, mid minus 1, mid plus 1. No, just mid if it's low, right? But mid minus 1 if it's high. Minus low over 2. This didn't work before. I don't know why I think it's going to work now.
Why are my parentheses wrong? No, oh, that's why. <laughs> this is the simplest thing. Why am I struggling with this so much? Why am I struggling with this so much? Just to find the middle number, right? Let's go back to Google. <laughs> Python, find middle number. But it's not average. It's the, it's the center number. <laughs> find middle of a list. Not doing that. Find middle integer in range. Find middle integer. I've been programming for uh, 30 plus years and I can't find the middle integer, right? When it's not just divide by two. How do I find the middle of a number of an odd list? Okay. No, he's just doing a list. I don't want to do a list. I just want to take two integers and find the center one, the geographically center one. Median, is that what it is? Find median value. Uh, Python, find median. No, I don't want to find the median of a list. I want to find a median integer. Not without, without libraries. Okay, whatever. So yeah, the median is like you have a list. You want to find the center one. I'm not going to make a list of every number. Median between two integers. Yeah, median takes a list, right? I don't want to make a... Like, I could do this, right? Is it just math.median? Stats? Uh, I mean, I could do this, but it's really, it's really awful to do it this way. Statistics.median, right? So it'd be like import statistics, and they'd be like statistics.median. Uh, okay. Statistics. It'd be like statistics.median, like range 0, 1, 27, something like this, right? But then the problem is that um, when you want to get the lower, when you want to, right, when it's a lower one, all right, so we start with 127, go to like 63, right, okay, 31, but if it was, we would want to add one here, right, to do that. Um, all right, let's do... All right, let's do that. Int zero one seven uh, zero plus twenty seven over two. Okay. All right, so that's the same thing. That's the all right. So that's the function we already had. We don't need to bring in the the median nonsense. Um, that's the function we had before, and now. I guess when it's if it's low, right? We're gonna do plus one. If it's low, we'll do plus one. If it's high, we'll just keep it. But then, all right, let's just just see what the output is. Um, Eight thirty nine is that a number we typed in previously? Uh, is that a number I typed in previously? I don't think so. I think that, I'm feeling good about that, actually. Feeling good about I don't know. I'm feeling good, better about it than I did before. 839? I feel like I'm right now here. It's not the right answer still. <laughs> okay. I don't even remember if I typed in 839 before. I feel like this is right, though. Let's go debugging again. Okay. Uh, 
uh, code jar. No. Let's put the... The problem is the way the debugger works, you need like a line after it or else it, it doesn't work properly. It puts you in the outer context indentation-wise. Okay, here we go. Uh, 63. So we went from... Uh, oh, we want to do... We got this backwards here. Low, mid, high. Let's do that. No, let's do low, high, mid. Let's put a let's put a hyphen so we can. Okay. Cool. Zero to sixty-three. Nice. The mid we just found was sixty-three. Zero to thirty-one. So F F. So front front. Good. Okay. Front front front. All right. We're bring coming into the front. We're at fifteen now. Is fifteen correct? Front, front, 32, 63. Yeah, because it would be 16, but it's it's one lower. So if a 16 is here, it's a 15. Okay. So front, front, front. Um, right, good. Okay. Uh, front, 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 front. So seven. Yes, good. Okay. And then continue again. So back. So now it's four through seven, because the seven would be an eight. Yeah. All right. Why was the mid three here? Oh, the mid was three. We added one to get to four. Got it. Okay. Back, front. Okay. So we got four, five. We're doing good. Right, uh, we got four, five, and the mid was five. We brought the seven down, and we still have one more. We have a back. So the back means the end result should be five, right? So the next one, we've got two fives. Perfect. So actually what we want to do, um, and see, but here the mid was four, right? See, that's why we're returning mid. We don't want to return mid after the final thing here, right? We can return high or low. It doesn't matter. They're going to be equal. They're going to be equal to each other. See, the mid was still stuck on four, but there was the plus one that got lost because the final one was low. The final one was low, so returning mid wasn't right. After, because we finally got the mid function correct, after processing all seven characters, high and low are going to be equal. So we can just always return high. It doesn't matter, right? Um, I know this is going to be correct. Okay. Yes. All right. Now I'm even more confident than I was before. All right. We don't didn't leave any print or we got that print statement. We need that one. Okay. So it should be less than 839 because it said 839 was too high. It's still giving us 839. Isn't that what we typed in last time? It doesn't hurt to just type it in again. Still wrong. Still wrong. Uh, why is this still wrong here? This midpoint finder is correct, right? It's just really, really annoying that the upper numbers are always like odd and the lower numbers are always even, right? And that just throws everything off by one in, in both directions, right? You can't just do the same function for this one and this one, right? 
Uh, turn in high, low. I saw some people saying this was easier than yesterday, and I can see how they could say that. But parsing a string is, you know, it was obviously more complex yesterday. But this is just a really simple one with just a really tiny, annoying hang up that's costing me like how much time? An hour here to solve this one tiny nonsense? I'm probably going to solve part two really, really quickly after I get part one. I've just been off by one for like at least 30 minutes. It's ridiculous. Low is 0 through 127. Find the correct midpoint. We're always getting... All right, well, let's just debug it again. Let's make sure this gen seed ID is correct once more time, just to be sure. Multiply the row by 8, then add the column. 44 times 8 plus 5. So the plus 5 comes after, right? It's 44 times 8 plus 5. Three fifty-two plus 5, 357. 350, yep, that's correct. So times 8 times row plus column. Multiply row by 8. Okay, that's um there's nothing I can't see anything wrong with that one. So there has to be there still has to be something wrong here in the row column finder. Do we mess up the parameters? Code low high, low char, high char. Code low high, low char, high char. Code low high. Low zero, high seven. Low is L R is right. Did we get that backwards? Is the plane numbered in reverse? Um R means take upper half. No, R is the high char. Okay, so that's not the issue either. Okay. What is going on here? If we're always dividing the high by 2, right, high is always odd. If we take high plus low divided by 2, we're always getting a half. We're always getting that 0.5, right? 0.5 every time. And we're always rounding down. But rounding down plus one, all right, so let's say we land on, um, right, so it's going to be like, let's say it's um, 128 divided by two. Well, 120, right, would be 64. 128 divided by two would be 64, right? 128 divided by two is 64. Um, if the high is 120, well, but the high is going to be 127. Right, 127 divided by 2 is not 63, it's 63 and a half. So if it's if we're you gonna replace the high number, we want to put a 63 in there. And if we replace the low number, we want to put a 64. We are this int here always rounds down, so 63 plus 1. So why would this, set the, uh, but I think what we can do is we can just explicitly forget, we can explicitly, let's land on the 0.5. Let's not always round down. Let's do round down or round up. Um, so what if we do this, right? Just high plus low over two, real simple, right? And then here, import mass. Um, so if we're replacing the high, we want math dot uh, floor, right? We want to round down. And if we're replacing the low, we want the the higher half. The higher half, right? I wonder if this is going to give a different number. It feels like it should give the same number, right? Because 63 rounded down plus 1 is 64. Right, but I guess maybe as you go deeper, that might not hold true. Um, all 
Okay, let's see if it if it let's see if it says eight thirty nine again. Uh, do we still have any debug statements left? No. no. We still have that. We need that. Uh, still eight thirty nine. Still 839, and it said 830. I'm going to type 839 again. I don't care how many times. It doesn't. It's not the right answer. Okay, maybe there's some other problem. Um, maybe a problem with the parsing. All right. Print a length of data. Seat IDs. So these should be equal. Make sure there's no. Okay, so these are right. All right, let's. Um, this is right. Oh, are we calling gen seed ID with the correct things? Yes, we are. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's see if there's any errors in that department. Okay, there aren't any errors in that department. Cool. Got an assertion there that high should always equal to low, so it doesn't matter that we're returning high. Um, let's do this. Uh, Let's look at these mids that are coming out here, right? Mid, the mid is 63. Math.ceiling, mid, math.floor, mid. Yes, it's working. Okay, what's our next mid? 31 and a half. Yep, math.ceiling, math.floor. Yep. Okay, what's our mid now? 15 and a half. We're going to get 16 and 15. That seems right. Yep. Uh, it's, what is it now? Seven and a half. Okay. So it's going to give us eight and seven. Three and a half. It's going to give us four and three. Where are we now? That it's giving 5.5, .5, even though... Why is it re we just had a mid of 3.5? How did it get higher? Oh, because it was between 3. Point, it was go it's going up again. It went down, and now it's going up again. Okay. All right. And now it's 4.5, so it's going to be 5 or 4. Yep. And then it went down again. The final one, it should have been 5 or 4. All right, let's, um, let's do back with the print statements again. Code low, high. Code char low, high, mid. You know what? Let's um. Let's start. Let's put the print statement in the loop and start the debugger outside the loop. So we can see a whole run at once. All right. Um, let's do a, a before and after print, right? Let's put a print here and a print here. Uh, 
The before one won't have the mid. Right? Okay. And then we'll put a... Uh... Okay, here we go. Right, 0 to 127, F, which means front, 0 to 63. Front, 0 to 31. Front, 0 to 15. Front, 0 to 7. Back, 4 to 7. Is that correct? I think it is. Front, four to five, four, five, six, seven. Is this right? Front, four to five, back. Five. Oh, I guess yeah, because these have to be adjacent to each other. It would either be it would either be six, seven, or four, four, seven. Hold on. Keeping four to five, four to seven. Oh, actually, um, yeah, that that's this is right. I think. Why is my answer wrong? If this seems correct. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oops. Okay, here's the next one. Let's try. Let's check the next one. The one that has more backs, right? So this we'll see here. Um, back zero through one twenty seven. We got a sixty four now, and that's yeah. Okay, we got uh, front the so sixty four through ninety five. Got back. Back is uh, back of the plane, so the lower number is going to go up. 80, 80 through 95. Front, the big number is going to come down. Front, big number comes down. Back, lower number goes up. They're adjacent. And then we end up with the higher one. This seems like it's correct. Why am I getting a wrong answer? Um, why am I getting a wrong answer? All right. I didn't want to go look at the chat because I wanted to show what real programming is like, but this is what real programming is like. You give up and you ask a coworker. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see what people are saying. Let's see. Wouldn't that be the me? Your mid function was right before thumbs up. Why are you afraid this is wrong? Afraid you did this wrong. 839 was your last entry. Okay. Um, hmm. In case of F upper floor, floor lower equals ceiling. You don't need to add sub one. Okay, that's basically that's sort of what we ended up doing. Try to compute the seat ID in the with the examples given in the problem. Uh, okay, did I modify the input? That's a, all right. You know what? We're gonna download the input file again, <laughs> just because that doesn't hurt to do. Uh, save link as save. Okay. All right. Oh, let's remove our, our debugs. And our extra prints. Did I mess up the input file? Nope, still says 839. Did not mess up the input file. So this high equal this I I think this is correct. Why something must be wrong somewhere else? Uh, what could be wrong somewhere else? Maybe this is wrong.
Maybe this is wrong. All right, let's see. All right, so we're gonna print the uh, the row code, the column code, the row and the column. Code, the column code and the column and then the gen seat ID row column seat ID all right let's try debugging down somewhere else Okay, as the FFFFBFB came out to five, LLR came out to seven. That's wrong, I think. That's wrong. Left, left, right should be um, much lower than seven. That's, that's where our problem is. It's on our column versus our row. The low char is L. Low char is F, the high char is B. R is the high char. Why is L, L, R, 7? That would, that would be like R, 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 right? The highest possible seat. Um, code, low, high, low char, high char. Let's try... Um, I don't think this is going to matter, but we can do this. I don't think this is going to change anything. Still sevens. That wasn't the issue. L means lower half. R means upper half. So B means, all right, so B means upper half. B means upper half. R means upper half. B is high. R is high. F is low. L is low. Low F. Low L. Low else. Low, low. All right, I think that the Let's let's remove our um you know what let's do this. Let's just delete this function. Call it find spot and we're going to remove all these default values here. Some shenanigans are happening, right? Okay. code. So when you're finding a row, you're going from 0 to 127, and it's going to be uh, front back. Zero, one, twenty-seven, front, back, okay? And then this one is going to be 
zero seven um, L R. All right, let's try that and see if we get a different number. We're still getting set. We're still getting sevens. Look, it's always seven. It's always seven. The The right number, is, the, row, look, the same function should be used for both. But for some reason, it's just always seven every single time for the column. What is wrong with the column? It's the same exact function. It must be here because it must be else. Else char equals equals high char, right? Else, again, oops. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, oh, LF. There we go. Ah! So what the hell is char? Char is F. Uh, what's the low char? What's the high char? R. Ah, something's wrong uh, over here. Something's wrong here. Is that it? Is that the issue? No. Let's check that input file again. Yeah, okay. Okay, parsed line zero. Oh, parsed. Oh, there's two line. lines. Line zero. Terrific. Lines colon seven. No, it's uh, lines zero colon seven. No, line equals. Line colon seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got it. Okay. Line seven colon. Uh, looks right to me. Um, okay. Okay. Four. Right and right. Okay. Oh, so it was it's seven colon is correct. Okay. Let's see what the data looks like. Oh, you know what? Let's let's put the debug here. We're not gonna, we can remove our oops here and we can set this back to what it's supposed to be. Okay, we'll debug right there. Okay, row code, column code. That looks right. <laughs> that looks right.
Um, so how come when column code gets into find spot, that's why right there. Now the real question is, right, this part right here, how is row code even in, um, even in scope? Row code doesn't exist here inside the scope of the find spot function, right? Like there is no row, there is no row code here. Why didn't it error on me? It should have errored. It shouldn't have worked. It should have said, "Hey, you know, for char in uh, just zero loop." Oh, I guess if it does, uh, for let's try it. Like for um, let's try some variable that doesn't exist, right? As you have nine five four x in as you as you have. See, it should have given me this name error for that row code in this spot. That makes me mad. I don't like that. There's no row code there. Not in that function. It's not a parameter. It's not some global up here. Right? It should have said name error. What the hell is you're trying to iterate over enough over, over none? You can't iterate over none. Right, row code exists down here. All right, let's see if that, that probably was the problem. 835. Look how look how little we were off by. I'm sure this is right now. Okay, so that took um, an, an hour more than it should have taken, right? Uh, so let's go to part two, which will hopefully be very brief. All right, we're going to have to edit this way down if we go to YouTube. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's save this. Well, let's let's just read it first. Okay. The fastened seatbelt signs have turned on. Time to find your seats. Completely full flight. Your seat shouldn't be the only missing boarding pass in your list. However, there's a catch. Some of the seats at the front and back don't exist. So they'll be missing as well. Your seat wasn't at the very front or back, though. The seats with IDs plus one and minus one from yours will be in your list. What is the ID of your seat? Okay, so we're just looking for an empty number. We're going to take all the numbers, we're going to sort them, and we're going to find one that is missing, right? Uh, so that doesn't seem too bad. Uh, let's just uh, start. Uh, we already have a list of seat IDs here, right? So we can make a find missing, find my seat. Right? So we've already got that. So we're going to just do a print. Well, I guess uh, part two result equals find my seat. Seat IDs. Print part... Uh, Part two, part two result. Okay. Cool. See, doing good on part one helps you on part two. Okay. Uh, find my seat. Okay. So we are going to take the seat IDs and we are going to do a sort. So uh, uh, seats equals sorted. Uh, I forget how to do sorted. Hold on. Three, two, three, one, two. Sorted. Is it just sorted X? Oops. It returns those sorted uh, seat IDs. Okay. So we could just find this with our eyeballs, but we are going to write code to do it. It would be easy to find with the eyeballs due to this sort. Okay. Part two, none. Oh. Cool. All right, so we could find our answer with our eyeballs here, but there's 800 and something something, so we're not going to. Uh, we are going to say um, uh, 4x in range. The minimum seat IDs, maximum seat IDs. Mm. 
Yep. Uh, if X not in seat IDs, return X. All right, now there was some catch. The catch was your seat wasn't at the very front or back. So seats with IDs plus one and minus one from yours will be in your list. But I mean, all right, what's 835? What's the lowest in the list? Min the minimum seat ID is 11. And the max seat ID is 835. So the range, 11 to 835, right? So the minimum in this is 11. And the max is going to be um, 835, 834. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be, um, right? Yeah, this can't be wrong. <laughs> This is going to work. 649? Yeah, it's got to be 649. 649 is not the front of the back. This seems right to me, right? Yeah. Yeah, part two, of course, takes seconds, seconds to do part two. And part one took forever with some annoying off by one action and then some annoying scope action and whatever. Okay, so uh, we had YouTube problems yesterday due to technology. We're going to have YouTube problems today due to editing because <laughs> it took way too long. I was hoping these would be short videos to upload to YouTube, but I guess they're not. Um, so, yeah, let's turn on the webcam again. All right. We, we, we got there. <laughs> It took a long time, too long. Uh, we had the off by one error that was very frustrating with the dividing by two. Uh, we had the um, the variable not erroring when trying to you be used out of scope. Uh, and it's like, look, it you know, it's you know, it's like a very simple problem, right? We arrived at the basic concept of the solution very quickly. Uh, again, the nice coding and the the reusable code of part one makes part two much easier. It took part two really quickly. Uh, and then, um, but yeah, just a little hang up can take some a serious amount of time, even on a very small problem, right? So, you know, we if we hadn't run into that off by one issue, right, we would have finished this in like, 15 30 minutes tops right like not long at all it's not a lot of code how many how long is our code right we 64 lines of code today okay so 64 lines of code took almost two hours <laughs> because of just some annoying bs um debugging nonsense uh so there you go um the the frustrations of real life programming <laughs> Uh, I'm going to, maybe I'll upload this to YouTube. It's, it's going to be so much work to edit it down though. That's the main issue. Um, but regardless, uh, we are going to try this again tomorrow. <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to say. Have a good, uh, advent of code such. All right. Let's, uh, stop streaming, stop recording.